Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, and this is actually the actually I I have videos earlier because I've got to upload them before I went to work. But this video was pretty late just because um I lost track of time like a lot. Um, usually if I'm listening to RC at three, I pause it um come back up and play it. But uh, I forgot I was charging my phone, which I'm film on, so I lost track of time. Next thing I knew, I looked up it was. 4.30, which is when my mom makes supper, so I realized I don't have time to film this, unless I want to miss half of the Wretched and Naughty episode. So I thought, well, I'll film it after supper, and if I can't film it after supper, I'll film it at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. But, uh, apparently, it's not 6 o'clock in the morning, so obviously I had time to film this. Alright, so, this is going to be a quick video. Um, it's actually probably going to be the record time for a 3 video. It's the ultimate DreamWorks theory, so I figured... All Pixar movies are connected, why not all DreamWorks movies? Now this doesn't won't really make sense with timelines, but um think of it as they all take place during the same time but different universes and worlds. So we start with um Joseph King of Dreams and Prince of Egypt. Those are biblical, so they're gonna take place before everything else. Same with uh, maybe La um, Road to El Dorado and Sinbad and Legend of the Seven Seas or whatever. Um and then we get into everything else. Everything takes place in a similar universe. Um, well, same timeline, but different universe. Like, there's a universe where penguins that can be secret agents and save animals from other animals, where zoo animals get to escape and end up in the circus, where Vikings and dragons are mortal enemies until... Mortal enemies until a boy changes that, um... An ogre exists in a fantasy land. A weak old baby has the voice of a man and wears a suit and is a secret agent. Never seen that one, but. In a world where they all exist together, and I have living proof of this. This actually happened in a movie. So, in How to Train Your Dragon, when Hiccup and Ash are to find them to a nest, dragons come by with food. And Gloria is one of the things that Monster's Nightmare is bringing. And the directors have confirmed that it is Gloria. So that's the proof that all DreamWorks movies will, at least some, exist in the same universe. Now, of course, this may be different because, as we know, Vikings were way <laughs> before New York Zoo and all that stuff. And, because Madagascar takes place in a modern age. So, it's a different country or a different universe, but it's at the same time. Obviously, it's after Madagascar 3, which I'm not sure when that was released. But, you get the gist of it. Even though there are different, maybe different countries and different universes, they still exist in the same timeline. Except some movies are going to be after others, like the ones that take place in the modern... Well, the where they have Gloria, that's going to be after the three Madagascar movies because it makes sense. Of course, now, as also makes sense because dragons, um, they some dragons can fly long distances. Maybe Monsters Nightmares are one of them, so it makes sense that they would somehow eventually find this tasty-looking brown giant hippo thingy. Not that they would know what it is. Um, to eat, but then the Red Death is like, give me food, so then they're like, okay, pff, I was going to enjoy this, but now I have to eat, give food to you. So it makes sense that that would be Gloria, because if it was, if Gloria somehow had on Burke, that would look weird. But because the dragon has her in his clasps that she's dead or killed, and she's going to be fed to the Red Death, it makes sense. Also, I'm not sure if any of you remember this, but I didn't actually know this was a thing. There is a go-kart Gideo game. It has to do with DreamWorks characters, and I think I just said Gideo game. Yeah. I've never heard of it, never played it, but it's a thing, apparently. So, yeah. Like I said, probably record timing for a 3 video. Uh, about 5 minutes. 
And that's my proof um, and reasoning behind while every, how every DreamWorks movie exists in the same timeline. And same universe, just different countries or different, more developed eras than others. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and comment down below if you agree with my theory. Uh, hit the notification bell, and I will see you tomorrow where I talk about the biblical side of DreamWorks.